Today we're going to be reviewing a 12 volt car vacuum by HOTOR. Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to my outdoor adventure review channel. Now we are going to take a look at what this particular brand comes with. And currently right now it's actually about $20 on Amazon as of February, 2023. We have the dust buster okay if you're old school like that and a very long over 16 foot cord so you can stretch all the way back maybe into a large suv it comes with a spare hepa filter that's what they say this is some brushes to clean out the hepa filter or clean out any of the crevice tools there's also the hose that you can attach to the vacuum itself and reach the hard areas this is the crevice tool. So you'll attach this to the hose. This is the cleaning brush. If you need to clean any hard floor mats you might have, this could help that. This is the original filter that I have. We're gonna do a test and I'm gonna use the brand new filter. And then you have the carrying bag. The way this is powered is with your car's cigarette lighter. It's ideal if you turn on your car because then you'll get the most suction power and just because it is a vacuum, I recommend turning your car on when you are using this. We are gonna do a few tests, one involving some debris on the area where I've got, my car is set up like a, a little home, tiny home on wheels. And so there's a little carpet area in there. So we're gonna put some debris on there. We'll weigh the debris to see how much of the vacuum it actually picks up. And that is why we're going to be using the unused HEPA filter. And then we're going to pour some of this debris also on the seat and weigh it and see how much it picks up. We'll weigh it before to see how much is in there. And then once we vacuum it up, we'll, we will see. I have used this before. I will not reveal my opinion just yet. Oh, and another item, this another feature this has is that there is a light. Now to keep down on the noise, I'm gonna use my battery that I use with my solar panels and everything so we won't have the engine noise coming from the, the vacuum. All right, I'm gonna get set up and we will go do this first test. This is my portable solar power battery and I'm going to plug it into the 12 volt. And this does have a light so you can see if there's power running to it. Let's go ahead. This is set to grams. We clear it out. All right, four and a half four and a half grams. Let's get some over here. In the crevices. Here's a look at the light. I really went over this thoroughly. Uh-oh, wait a minute, it came out. Oh, maybe that was just any residual that was hanging out or caught up in here. Hmm, okay, let me vacuum this again. Okay, I have vacuumed this thoroughly. I'm going to take apart this vacuum put it on the scale and see what we come up with. Since we had some come out, so that's good to be aware of. Whoops. Before the uh, filter fell out, it was about four grams. So that appears to have worked pretty well. I have thoroughly cleaned out all of the bin and the filter. I actually used my shark vacuum, cleared out. Try 
try to do four. And we'll just see how well this does. this much more carefully. Okay, I mean, we are at four and a half grams. So it picked up more than what was on the scale earlier. Let's get started. We will take a look at the before and the after and compare. That is actually really useful for those areas under the sea and in corners. I'm impressed with the light. So there we have it. My scientific tests worked out pretty well. They were not perfect. Maybe if you're a PhD, they would be perfect, but I stand or sit corrected in my initial thoughts when I first used this vacuum. I thought it was garbage, in all honesty. I was not impressed with the suction power. I don't, I don't think I did anything much different than from this to before. But with the front floorboard, that was a, an impressive pickup. For my purposes, being a car camper, and sleeping out of my car, traveling with a cat, this is actually probably going to stay in my car with the rest of my gear. Some of the cons might be the suction power. I think that you would need to keep some realistic expectations out of a $20 12 volt car vacuum in that it's not going to have the suction power of a vacuum, a car vacuum at a car wash. Another con might be the small dustbin. Maybe if you have a big mess, this dustbin might be too small for your needs, but it's easy enough to take off and clean out and uh, carry on with a clean dustbin. For what it is, in my opinion, actually, I, I think it's worth it. I would really love to hear what you guys think about a 12 volt car vacuum, if you've ever used one, what you thought about my tests and the pickup. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.